In order for baboons to survive, living in a society is necessary because they live in a society for their full life. Although living in a society is a baboon's way to survive, there are many pros and cons. When living in a society, it is much easier to find resources such as water and food when there are many baboons in a group, since there are more of them to look for the resources and bring them back to the group. With the society comes a sense of family and protection. These baboons rely on each other to make it through everyday life. Um, but, you know, here's one of the pictures of, of an Amboseli baboon. And just to give you a little bit of background into baboons, baboons are, of course, social. So that means that they spend most of their lives interacting with other baboons and living together with baboons. And in particular, they live in social groups. And those groups contain as few as just 20 animals or all the way up to 150 or even 200 different animals, all living together moving in a coordinated way, you know, feeding together across the landscape, right? So they're like a giant cohesive unit. Um, and those groups, they contain adult males, adult females, and their kids. And so it's, you've got all ages there living together. Baboons stay together throughout their entire life, from the time they are born to the time they pass away. Baboons are a close-knit society. Some baboons even stay within 100 meters of each other at all times. This applies mainly to female baboons who maintain their friendships throughout their entire life. They are very close to their relatives, such as their mothers, aunts, and sisters. They rest near each other, groom each other, and help each other in many ways. However, male baboons usually are part of several groups during their lifetime, so they are separated from their families much more than the females. Amongst males, there is a much more threatening atmosphere compared to the nurturing ones that females give. The number of baboons within a group can vary from 10 to 200 members. The size of the group depends on the type of baboon, the time period, the habit, the number of predators in an area, and diets. There are generally more female baboons than male baboons in a group. The male baboons travel from one group to another depending on their mating success within a group. A male that is unsuccessful in his mating group will most likely abandon his group for a different one. 